Hey, wake up. Nozzle, you're a fucking legend, mate. What can I say? Hey, wake up.
Yeah, yeah, turn the hosting alerts off, you trolls. Sound resumed. There we go. Price is awake finally. How are you doing? Yes. All right. So are we live now then? Mate, I love how you've had. I love how you've had to uh, dress up for me. <laughs> it's absolutely lovely. Wow. <laughs> Let, should, do you want me to ask if... Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Happen. All right, all right. Fuck all of you. I know, I know. I muted myself. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh it's been like three years since I switched on a stream. I don't remember how to do it. Right. Voice. Let's get this underway, eh? So, right. welcome everyone to the first NWFSE community representative debates. We have with us today, on my left, Maskman, and on my right, Fotin. Maskman, go ahead and introduce yourself for anyone who doesn't know who you are. Hello, I'm, I'm Major Maskman, Major of the Infantry in the 45th Nottinghamshire. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Most influential 2020 and uh, multi-tournament host. I, I host loads of tournaments, so uh, that's, that's me. Um, have you? Yeah, I've hosted um well the group fighting ones I have. Like and, what? Uh, um I've hosted uh EIS, I've also hosted Master Mel's of 5v5, I've hosted regimental ones such as um um RMT last year and uh I hosted ENWC, which was a nation's cup last summer. So I hosted those ones last year. All right, thank you very much. Fosin, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Dan Kisikon Fortin, playing since twenty fourteen. I am originally a competitive player, but then went on the leadership and hosted some tournaments as well. And yeah, that's what I have to say. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that at all. So, first of all, we all know why we're here. There was a third debatee, I suppose you could say, uh, by the name of Golden. You Unfortunately, he yes, didn't... Yes, it's me. I am the third debatee. You fucking piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> Oh, nice one, User in your channel was right, right. We had to, we had to call him, boys. We had to get rid of him. We had to get rid of him. It's all right. It's all right. Rip Golden type F in chat. It, yeah. F's in the chat, I guess. <laughs> right. So let's uh, let's move on ahead. So right. Let's uh, let's go back to your applications. Right. Now you both had sort of fairly different reasons and a lot of, I suppose you could say, controversies come out regarding your applications more so maskman than you Fotin. you're a you're a good little french boy this year aren't you you've been a, you've been a good lad but uh maskman so why don't you go ahead and sort of give us a, a short rundown on why you know why you think you're going to be the better uh cr candidate so um we just have to just roll back to why i decided to run um just decided to run because you just did a shit job at cr quite frankly what the f um <laughs> You know, I, I didn't run last time purely to let you live a bit, but um, <laughs> it, 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 is, it is what it is. Uh, so I've been involved with the community for absolutely ages. Um, not really ages, more like a year and a half competitively. I've been playing since 2013. And I really want to give back to the community and uh, expand what I'm doing. So what I'm, what I'm doing a lot is um, running the 45th Nottinghamshire, but also on a grassroots level. So um, that means, you know, 
I host loads of game nights, not only pick up some matchmaking that I'm most infamous for, but also SCP and Among Us on 45th NTS, constantly trying to get people involved and um, trying to build the 45th N community as it is to become the hub of NW, which it has been for at least the past eight months. So that's really my that's really my goal, and that's what I've been doing. And being CR um, allows me to expand on that. Um, quite frankly, I've hosted quite a few events in my in, in the past, and um, I think um, not only casual events, mind you, also competitive tournaments. And yeah, we don't care CR, about those. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite unicorn, <laughs> but uh, moving past that, uh, I'm just I'm just trying to build upon what I have. Really, um, th there's nothing much to it because I think I deserve the role, and I think I'll I'll do the best. Um, that's pretty much it, yeah. Before we go over to you, Fotin, um, like Marsman has sort of touched upon something we were going to come to later anyway, so I'm going to just jump on it right now. Um, obviously, as as you both know, uh, there have been quite a bit of, I suppose you could say, backlash towards uh, Marsman coming out as, uh, you know, a, a CR elect. And one of the main things is is that um, Maskman, you know, it's, it's been kind of widely intimated by, uh, I say widely intimated, there's one Neanderthal who fixes bikes, but we all know who that is. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, uh, sorry, sorry, Foten, but uh, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. he, he is, uh, you know, he, he's brought out some pretty wide accusations, you know, such as, for example, the only reason you want CR is to, you know, build upon your uh, non-existent clout, uh, not non-existent, that's just me joking around, obviously, but your 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 clout in a sense, and uh, to try and market the forty fifth more and get more people to get involved in your regiment, per se. And like, what 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 would you say to that? Because what... well, yeah, um, yours. all right. So what I'm saying to that is, you know, I've come on here not only to um you know debate photon, but also to clear up, quite frankly, the defaming, pathetic attacks Peter has put out on me on FSE. Um, I just want to just double down on the fact that they're all lies and um, the fact that Peter has straight away um, immediately attempted to launch a smear campaign along with his cadre of 90 second friends um, straight away on FSE without me having to say a word, posting my application and then them immediately jumping on it. Um, that in and of its right is it's quite, it's actually relatively pathetic, especially since the candidate they, they support, Fota, um, pledges to errat not eradicate, but you know, try and wipe out um, toxicity on in-game and on FSE. So yeah, that's just relatively peak in my opinion. That that just want to put that statement out there. Now back to your main point in regards to how um, in regards to those into those allegations that it's 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 all fucking lies um, from PT. I mean, you, you can't trust the guy. And when we I mean, talk about those, uh, sorry, sorry, folks, in just one moment. Uh, before like. Well, before we move on to voting, um, what's are, are you? You know, do you feel comfortable talking about some of those allegations that they brought up? Unfortunately, um, what, one of my roles as the current CR, in a sense, is to you know sort of help dumb down and try and uh, cancel out all of this. Um, I, I guess you could just say Fred Wars and all this stupid bickering that goes on on the forums. And now, obviously, Peter and the others have taken that a little bit too far in the sense of, you know, posting racist comments and other things like that. So I didn't even get to see a lot of these accusations that were brought up against you. Uh, do you feel at liberty to talk about a couple of those? Oh, you speak to me or Photon, sorry? Uh, to you, to you. Um, well, I'd like to bring them up, but um, there is no evidence supporting what Peter's saying. If you really just look at the FSE thread and dig down onto the posts, what you'll, what you'll find are just baseless... Uh, sinful criminal accusations against me, um, all of them untrue. Uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to be that type of person to eradicate, clean up and dub, eradicate all the toxicity in NW or clean it up, because quite frankly, that's the sort of shit that, you know, quite frankly, we kind of love. Uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a sinful love, um, definitely. But, you know, um, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be realistic um, about it. And uh, that's, that's really how it is, really. Yeah, that's fair enough. But we've we've heard a lot of uh, Marsmen so far. So, Foten, why don't you go ahead and um, well, you've already introduced yourself in a sense, but why don't you talk about why you're the better candidate for CR and um, why Marsmen's useless? First of all, I'm not going to say that Marsman is useless. Marsman. Good answer. Good answer. Marsman is playing this game, and to him, it's really important. Uh, He's a lot in, he's really involved in the game, so I'm sure that he will be a good CR. 
but his accusations are just too much to me. There is no reason to compare Peter and me. Peter is not me. I'm not representing the 90 second. I want to represent the NW community. That's a total different thing, first of all. Secondly, uh, I will be more in my projects. Uh, I mean, I want in first position to make a schedule for the competitions. Like to me, we've got too many uh, tournaments at the moment. And uh, this needs to be to be less. Like I want one tournament per month and I want to make a clear schedule with all the tournament and with all the, the leaders of the teams. That's for me the most important thing. Uh, also, I want, but I will rejoin Maskman on that, uh, less toxicity on FSE. I will make sure that people like Peter that is in my, in my regiment, there is an eco uh, price, please, your microphone. Oh, my microphone is actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, Peter went too far. I agree with you. But again, he's not, to be, he's not with me. I'm not Peter. But I want it to be less toxic, yeah, as well. And to me, that's an important thing to do because uh, toxicity is just killing uh, NW and the forums as well, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say at the moment. Do you mind if I come in there? Is that right? Um, yeah, all yours, you right. have the floor. Sweet. So just to address your second point in regards to the tournaments and how we should have a yeah. clear cut um, regimental tournament schedule or like group fighting tournament schedule, um, just want to say Price did um, note on FSE today under the EIC thread that, you know, there is something in the works. And yes, that, you know, GI is a part of that. Um, and myself are both main characters in this, in this um, plan to really, quite frankly, Ho host um plan tournaments for for the year for regiments but also to you know potentially start there as a base groundwork and then move on into starting reining in quite frankly that is quite frankly loads of these small group fighting tournaments that are happening just littered across the entire year throughout so you know what there is something in the works we do have to start off small we have to start off regimentally and then build up as opposed from a top-down approach where you try and um, rein in people such as Mighty Payne or Mark Seal from the top, and then you have no base, and that will just simply fall apart. We've seen that before. So, you know, there is something in the works, and admittedly, um, we've got some regiment leaders on board. It's Price and Jai mainlining it, and um, I'm, I'm really happy to say I'm part of that team, and it's, uh, it's, it's a pleasure, and it's, it's, uh, it's, a great, it's a great idea. Just wanted to put that out there, so regarding your second point there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so obviously um, we're not here to talk about the uh, regimental leaders group that will be announced, well it sort of has been announced or it's been intimated upon, um, but that is something that will be coming in the short future, and if you go back to my CR app of last year, um, obviously voting the same as what you've done in a sense is uh, kind of similar to what I had put in my CR app. Uh, one thing for me was when I came back to NW after being gone for quite a while was I completely agree with you. There was an oversaturation of not just tournament uh, like group fighting team uh, tournaments, but a lot of regimental tournaments as well. And um, I think MRGL, when I'd seen that, I think that kind of encapsulates that problem as well. MRGL, I think, was a sort of unnecessary tournament that came at a bad time. But I think a lot of people actually enjoyed it, so that's kind of what you know, kind of what matters at the end of the day. But um, I, I completely agree with you, Fotin, and I well, I agree with both of you on this um, from both different angles. Um, we do need something in NW in terms of like a leaders group or something along those lines to regulate all these tournaments. And yeah. um, we have a set schedule for the next year, just so you know. So obviously EIC has been announced and that will be running from Mar well, the end of March or April for another three to four months. And then there'll be a mm -hmm. one and a half to two month break with RGT in the middle, as we always have RGT once a year. As you know, it's, uh, it's just always happened once a year and uh, it's a big tournament for a lot of people. And um, after that will be the 33rds hosted, I believe it's Kincaid who hosts it, uh, they're going to be doing another 2v2 tournament, um, well 2v2 regimental tournament that is, so th that's what that's kind of what we're getting at at the moment, and obviously you becoming CR photo and having that same uh, idea, you know, we'd be more than happy to bring you onto the team and have you work with us, 
So I just want to say I'm in complete agreement with both of you on this, to be honest. Um, yeah, but enough about speaking uh, about obviously stuff that's already been done. Um, yeah, I want to sort of touch back on your points earlier, Fotin, about you being compared to Peter. Obviously, it's a mm-hmm. sad, sad thing. No one wants to get you know compared to Peter, but you know it's you get dealt the hand you're given, I suppose. Um, but obviously, there is that sort of phrase or saying. You know, he is the lieutenant colonel of the regiment. He does kind of, you know, when people see him and see him acting the way he does, they're going to, you know, believe that the whole regiment's like that. That's just how it works, you know, and that's how everything no, works. I disagree. That's yeah, I, no, I, I, I disagree with you as well. I'm not saying that's how it is. I'm just saying that's how people perceive it to be. And uh, what, what would you say to that? No, 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 not at all. That's not how it works to me. No. I am not, <laughs> I will re- re- repeat it, I am not Peter. And Peter is the lieutenant colonel, as you said, and we've got Wolf as colonel. Wolf is representing the regiment. Peter is also representing it, but that's not, that's not the, the way how the people act. Like, in the 90 second, we've got, like, in the 45th, two companies, the center and the grenadier. Just tell me once, except it for veggie, when the grenadier are just trash-talking others. They are never doing it, never. But again, we don't need and we don't necessarily need to talk about our regiments. That's just useless. There is a big war between the 45th and and the 92nd since a long time, but that's not the subject of the discussion tonight. Not at all. I disagree with that, man. Um, Just to come in, I I actually agree with Foten. I I think it would this debate would take absolutely ages if we start dragging in every single bad aspect of what either regiment has done um if we start dragging every single aspect of what the officer call you know what I, our ideals are and like because it, again this is community this isn't just regimental as much as i love the 45th then um you mm-hmm. know it's uh and as much as i think the 92nd are in the wrong and they should be you know called out for being in the wrong especially peter um i don't think that you know this discussion is going to be uh, uh as constructive for um for those who are on the fence in regards to who they're voting for cr but just to, to, to add something, uh, if this had to happen again with Peter, for example, or even with Fieta, because I think Fieta was a bit also aggressive. Uh, with Fieta, with Peter, with Unicorn, with Veggie, I will be the first one to, to try stopping that, and I will be the first one to stop it if I am a CR. Even if I'm not a CR, I engage myself from now to stop it, because it's just ruining the FSE, and that can't continue. That truly can't continue. It's too long. It's it has been like that for one year now, and I want it to stop right now, right now. Yeah, no, in, in complete agreement. And uh, one question I have. Uh, we'll start off with Maskman to answer this, and then we'll come to you, Fotin. Um, this uh, CR election has actually been one of the most like hotly contested ones FSC's ever actually mm-hmm. had. And so one thing I wanted to um, ask is, like, what, why do you guys think that is? And we'll start with uh, you, Marsman. We'll go from left to right. Well, um, I think it's purely because of the regiments backing either candidate, you, you could say, even though it is um, based on, you know, personal skills. That's pretty you know, obvious. Based on personal attribute for CR. Ultimately, by both in two of the biggest regiments in NW, Glenn, two of the most incom- competitive regiments in nw obviously and you know both both regiments are uh, you know kind of at each other's throats at this point so obviously there will be tension this is kind of like a proxy war as to see which regiment is better so i completely understand that there should be there are people on either side of the aisle that are looking for um that are looking for a bit of beef it is a bit of banter they they do they do enjoy this i mean look look at the people watching 93 national heroes watching that's more believe it or not than we're watching live in the rgl final versus 92nd that i casted in fact, like more than fifty percent more, because it was only sixty last time. So, like you can you can just see you, you can just see uh, the amount of people that are really interested by this. So, I, I I think that's why it's hotly contested. It's also hotly contested is because um, you know, it 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 comes at a pivotal pivot, pivotal time, and uh, it's just yeah, pretty much it. Yeah, sorry. Mm, I would rejoin Masman on that uh, mainly because of that forty fifth and against ninety second war. Uh, Firstly, when I made my, firstly, Massman made his application. I made mine like uh, uh, a few hours after him. And uh, immediately, uh, regiments such as the 15th, for example, 
uh, immediately said that it was going to be a war between the 45th end and, and the 92nd, like uh, a dick measuring again. I'm sorry for the word, a dick measuring, and that is normal. Yeah. Like uh, I understand why people uh, see it as a controversy, and yes, I like that as uh, as mask consent. So to me, that's the main main reason. Yeah. Okay, and so that would sort of transition into my next question. And do you guys think it's fair in a sense that it's just become a well, a dick measuring contest between two regiments? From the from the the the, the, the applications or before you mean? Uh, from, well, from the applications, obviously, um, it's the same thing when Unicorn ran against me, for example. If you were to go for, obviously, you guys can't all see this, but the majority of them were ninety second uh, people that had voted for them. Do you not think that it, it would have been better for, let's say, Golden or Ivan, for example, to have their shot and uh, maybe have a slightly more, I guess, I'm, I don't, I suppose, unbiased isn't the right word, but a, a less influenced take on the role of CR, you know, because they don't have that big backing. No, uh, I think uh, they had the right to go through as well. Like, I've got a regiment, I have a key role in the regiment, like Erisha said, same thing for Maskman. But, I mean, they can also have a key role in one regiment, nothing is against it. So, yeah, I've got the chance to be in the 92nd, I can only say it. And without the 92nd, I think I got like seven votes uh, from the 92nd in the first uh, first elections. Uh, I wouldn't have been a joke, and unicorn. Golden will be there and not me. For sure, that's like that. But that's not an excuse. Yes, it would have been cool for Golden that you, you got through. But I mean, I am not gonna gonna gonna. I, I am gonna use the 92nd, of course. Like uh, I wanna be elected. So I will use all the, the tactics I, I can use, and that's normal to have it. Stop like, the count! As I already said, he can also have a regiment that is voting only for you, for, for him, sorry. I mean, uh, he could have asked the ATD to vote for him. He didn't do it, okay? So it's his fault, not our fault. Like. Uh, it is I, 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 <laughs> I'd like to agree with Voted in regards to it. You can't particularly, you can't really control uh, who backs you. As much as, you know, we all think, you know, for example, Peter, who, as controversial as he is, as long as lots of us think he's a bad person, Fotan can't control the fact that Peter is going to go on FSE and shit talk. He can't control the fact that Peter is going to vote for Fotan. That's completely fine. Um, I don't, I don't think um, Fotan. I mean, just because we have bigger, uh, we have big regiments backing us, that that shouldn't mean that um, that 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 should mean that our influence should be um, depraved a bit um, because of because of that. Um, I think we should use, you know, especially in a hotly contested election like this, we should use every as every aspect to our advantage, mm -hmm. and exactly. I, I respect that. Um... But I, I respect the disappointment of Golden. It's normal. I would have been disappointed if I was him. That's normal to to be disappointed. Yeah, that Golden. But you know, I used the ninety second. Bastman used the the forty fifth end. But uh, I don't Rumors see it uh, as a uh, as a problem myself. But I understand Golden. He, should, he, he can't be disappointed for that. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, uh, fair points from both of you there. Can't argue with either of them. Um, I want to take this opportunity just to give you guys, you know, sort of the floor and sort of uh, maybe bring up questions or, or criticisms to each other. So we'll start with Maskman. Is there any uh, worries that you have regarding Fote and getting the post of CR? Quite frankly, um, no. We all know that so the CR quite frankly. Role, quite frankly, is not. Um, it, it it's not particularly hugely influential. Uh, it actually, as you said, tends to hinder pet people as opposed to help them. You know, on their crusade. So ultimately, with with Fotam, I uh, if he if he gets it, that's completely fine. Obviously, it'll hurt me personally that I lost an election. Um, but I think Fotam is a. Is is a good candidate for the ninety second to put up? Quite frankly, I think it's. I think he's he's a good guy. Um, Knock. just Love it's him. it's a shame that Fota has not just as been as involved as me. So obviously that would hurt personally if I would lose because I'm kind on all the time. Fota, I did know had a big break after RGL last time. I had a big break until I think it was November or October until he saw I, until I saw his name popping up again, and only recently to get called ninety second. That's completely fine. Um, but you know, I've ever since I came back to the scene, 
back in what was it September 2019 I've always been involved through and through and um mainly because of corona but I, I will always remain uh this this community will always be remain close to my heart basically I won't be leaving anytime soon yeah corona obviously influences it for a lot of people well, uh, there are a fair few people that hadn't played in a few years that uh, came back to give it another run, myself included. So there you go. Um, let's uh, move over to you, uh, Fotin. Uh, what, 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 what? Well, we'll let you respond first of all, and then we'll let you make your point as well, and then Maskman can respond. So, yep, all yours. Anything you have to say to what Maskman said? First of all, I want to thank Maskman for his uh, for for what he said about me. I totally think the same thing about him. I think he will be a great CR because, as he said, she is really involved and is probably the pe the person that is the most Happy involved birthday, in, the, in the video community at the moment. Uh, I don't remember who said that, but someone said that you have no life uh, next to NW, and that's maybe right. You 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 all the time on FSE, and I respect you for that. And we have the same goals together, but you can't say you mean, no? that I'm not as involved as you. I'm just I just don't do the same things uh, like you. I am more a competitive player than you, in my opinion, and I do the things uh, for regimental stuff. Like uh, I organize GFs with my regiment, and uh, I lead GFs, and that's totally different than your job. But I understand that you say that I'm less involved than you. That's just the, that's just not the same things, in my opinion. But no. I am trying to get a little bit more... Happy birthday, FSC. Python, you're a fucking legend. I want to be more involved on the FSC community as well, so uh, I let my competitive stuff behind me now. Uh, I am more involved on FSC. And I want it to be to be for a long time. I'm not going to take another break like uh, I saw in the chat. Uh, I really want to, to become a tournament hoster and also uh, a moderator for FSC as well. Why not, I mean? But... Yeah, you can't say I'm I, I'm less involved than you. I totally disagree with you on that. And uh, before we move back over to you, Marsman, I obviously just want to add in, uh, Fotin himself is an extremely tenured player. Uh, he's been in the game for a very long time. Ever since I joined NW, well, Mountain Musket back in the day, uh, Fotin's already, we, we didn't really know each other, did we, Fotin? But, you know, you were always there. You're always lingering in the background like the Slender Man or something. You you were always sort of uh, <laughs> just uh, chilling, doing your own thing, mostly kicking around the French uh, regiments and stuff back in the day but it's hard to argue that a player such as you you're very tenured you have a lot of experience you know how to handle a lot of uh nw leaders for example a lot of other uh regiment members and just in general regiment uh nw players so um obviously you coming back from a break uh i would say and stuff like that you know you've seen it spammed all over the chat which is why i bring it up um, that being a criticism of you, I think doesn't really matter in my opinion, just because, like I said, you're tenured, you're experienced, you know what you're doing. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, and um, Marsman, anything you have to say to that? Um, that's completely fine. Obviously, um, there'd always be a disagreement in regards to you know what involved actually means and blah 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 and all this, but that's just semantics at the end of the day. Um, I completely agree that Photon is you know a capable candidate. Um, but uh, it it is what it is, and I I, I really do completely agree. Um, Stop spamming the ninety second racist questions and shit like that because they won't get asked, and you will just get banned in a minute. Until, Come on, um, just leave it now. Deep into you can ask questions towards the end. Um, but yeah, I no I, I, it. I understand. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Fosium, is, is there any other additional points you'd want to bring up? Maybe anything angled towards uh, Marsman, any criticisms? Uh, no, not really at the moment. I have nothing to add uh, of what Marsman said. I, I actually no, have something I, I to agree. Do, uh... I agree with the most of the things he said about me, and he's not lying, he's not lying. He's being honest, so no, I have nothing to, to say about this. I just... I have one more thing to say regarding transparency um, with you, Photon, because I do know yes. that um, there was, there is um, an issue in regards to Obelix and how I was going to get to that in how your relationship with him still is, because there was an incident last year, uh, just a little less than a year ago, where there was an issue in regards to a six v six Proud Boys tournament with you and him. Okay. I just want to clarify how is your how is your relationship with him now? It's fucking difficult, big big mate. 
my relationship <laughs> with him is special, really special. Uh, I don't have him on my friend list on, on Steam anymore right now. And I'm not going to talk to him anymore as well. He's not playing with the French Touch because he's banned from all the tournaments. So I won't meet him uh, one more time. That's finished with him. Yes, last year uh, he played instead, instead of me because I couldn't come to a tournament and I lied. And he was banned from the tournament. That's my fault. That's entirely my fault. That is not going to happen again. And Obelix is out of my friend list on Steam right now. And I'm not going to talk to him again. Great, I'm glad we uh, we can clear something up like that because the last thing we'd need, and I'm sure Price will agree and the chat will agree, is an, another Obelix sympathiser because quite frankly, I have befallen that sin. Obelix was in the 45th end for about a month in October, I think. And, you know, we gave him a second chance or whatever fucking chance he was, like 10th chance. Admittedly, it turned out he was a rat and I'm glad that uh, the 45th end, me personally, we were so quick to come about realizing what he was and he was quite quickly ejected afterwards so um i really uh i really appreciate those kind and honest words about obelix because he's the type of person that we cannot um we we we, we cannot be uh supporting anymore in any way shape or form. i am maybe gonna be a bit out of context but honestly i met obelix in real life again and Wickert uh will say that it's not a reason and he was totally a normal person. But with what he has done to, to, towards a lot of people, with his insults, with his cheats, uh, with uh, what he has done to Rickert with uh, by revealing his, his real name and etc., he, he went uh, he went too far, and that can be that can't be forgiven again. There's some very valid points. Like I said, uh, Marsman actually brought up something that I was going to bring up anyway. Obelix, as you know, is a hotly contest well, no, not really contested topic, I guess. Um, everyone knows he's a little scumbag, and it's been like widely accepted that he shouldn't be attending any tournaments and anything like that. Obviously, there are some uh, accusations going around that he is still doing it with some regiments. Um, and unfortunately, the nature of NW, you can just buy another key and you can just jump on and pretend to be someone else. Um, which is why every regiment leader has to be diligent and don't just accept every single person into your regiment, and uh, regardless of if you think you know who they are. So we won't touch upon Obelix anymore. I think that's all. That's as far as we really need to go. Uh, we have no reason to uh, believe that Foton would lie to us about it. Um, and yeah, like, like Marsman said, I completely respect your, respect your I, comments, Foton. Uh, I'm sorry, Price. Uh, yeah, go uh, ahead. You are talking. If I lie, basically, uh, everyone can watch it. Everyone can see my Steam friend list. Uh, for example, I know Click on Force is listening to it. Uh, he knows if I talk to Obelix uh, on TS with the 23E and the French Hells yeah, I'll see you on Discord later. He's doing it just, he has to tell it on FSE. And if I am a CR, I'm just removed from my CR. That's as simple as that. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to talk to him anymore. That's finished. And if, you, if, you, catch me, if you catch me doing it, just ban me from my CR role. That's all. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Pretty bold statement. Uh, Marsman, anything else you'd like to add to this? No, mate, that's pretty much it. Fantastic. Anything else you'd like to uh, bring up, Photon, before we move on to some viewer questions? We have already been live for, well, the stream's been live for over 40 minutes, but we've been speaking for about 30. So we'll, we'll, we'll start moving on. I know it's starting to get a bit late over there in France. So is there anything else you'd like to add? No, nothing, Christ. Thank you. Yeah, so, sounds good. Right. Those of you reprobates in chat, you know who you are. You've been spamming questions and stupid shit for the past 30 minutes. Now, if you have an actually valid question you would want answered by these two gentlemen, then ask it in the chat. If it's stupid, it will be timed out and we, it will not be asked. I'll give you guys a couple of minutes and then we'll do a poll in the chat to see who you believe came out on top of this debate. So uh, let's just let's just give the the chat a second to catch up and then we'll see conservative or labor fucking neither our country is okay, a mess uh Mo Mo -E -E zero four maybe morris i don't know uh the 90 second does not accept racism uh maybe maybe we sometimes we say racism words but i know that people like wolf the colonel is really acting about that and he wants it to stop so if there there is some 
If you've been timed out by the chat bot, then just send it to me on Steam. If you don't have me on Steam, well then fuck you. When Wolf is acting, he will he will do it. He will do it for sure. Yeah, and just to uh, add on there as well, that uh, Maori G is literally uh, Maori. I believe he's German, Austrian. Is he most many in your reg? Yeah, yeah. I I know he was from somewhere around those uh, around those areas. Uh, I've had a question over Steam. This is from Domi, otherwise known as Dog Bro. He says, "Ask Marsman how he will protect the younger members of the community." A very valid question, as you know, Marsman. There has been some. Well, uh, one of your members, unfortunately, was approached by Muha in a very, uh, well, let's just say, <laughs> a, a very dodgy fashion. Hey. So, um, in in regards to that person question, yes, um, I am I am partially responsible for for that situation happening, and you know. In the 40th, we try to accommodate all ages and Remember, all kinds of people. Acknowledgement is failure. He acknowledges he failed. Quite, frankly, who have been he allowed the kitty fiddling um, to go on. I'm just kidding. By the NW, I can't say uh, that. That's rough. That's fucking rough. By the NW curse, we try to do our best to shield them. And ultimately, um, we can't really say no or kick people out based on their age um, if they've been in the regiment for so long. So the best thing we can do is try and shield them and grow with them and mature with them and uh, teach them the best and teach them the best and worst of the game so that they're prepared for any um, any aspect of any problem that comes down down the track in the near future for them uh, respectively so um, me personally with my personal um, issues in the 45th end uh, in regards to that question yes we we, we, we try to do our best and I, th I think we are doing our really well because that person in question he's been talked to he's been sorted um, and you know on RTS, admittedly, it is the hub of NW. We do um, that. I am people glad, do actually. Slip past the net, and we, we just try and keep our community as open as possible, so these instances don't happen again. Because, quite frankly, what happened was how we found out was he, he told us eventually. He told us the whole story, and um, purely because we are an open community in a closed community where you know you're not as inviting to you know younger. I am wearing a socks, but not where do you kind of think? Sack him off on the side. People will be much more hesitant to speak up. People will be much more hesitant to um, speak up to, to their officers and to their friends because it, quite frankly, it is a bit embarrassing. And you know, people are mature enough to understand that it can be a bit embarrassing. But I'm personally, I'm really glad that uh, I'm creating a very in a very inclusive community for everyone to just get involved and just you know if you have any problems just come and sit down and have a chat and again with FSE that's what we want to be um, achieving um, inclusivity. Okay, there. And uh, we've had a a couple of questions here come through from a certain someone who has asked to remain anonymous. You know, take that how you will, but they're pretty fair questions. So we'll go ahead from here. Uh, Quoting, we've had a question come through uh, directly aimed at you. There's also one for Maskman. And uh, obviously, sorry to go back to this um, mm -hmm. point again about the racism and everything else. I know it doesn't reflect you and your viewpoints and whatnot. Um, but this individual wants to know that if uh, members of the 92nd were coming out and racially abusing other members of the community again, um, with all the, you know, not just the um, racist insults that were sent to Maskman, for example, over private message, also the spamming of blackface memes and other things like that on the forums which had to be uh had to be cold essentially um what would you do to to combat this in the event it happens again if it happens again uh that will be uh, done in internal 90 seconds uh first of all i i, I know good some answer, people really. just want me to to say that i am not going to leave the 90 second if uh this is done again i am simply going to go to the people that did it and tell them to stop and if they do it again i will make sure that they get banned from the 90 seconds that's as simple as that as simple as that uh, never i'm not going to leave the 90 seconds I, I i i make i make some choices internally but yeah that's all i have to say like that that will not happen again i you can trust me on that i will personally make sure that, that this doesn't happen again simply i think when it comes down to it um it, it kind of has to be dealt with um internally within the regiment uh, i'm not sure if you agree with that marsman i think it's just one of those things you, you yeah it has to be dealt with internally do you agree 
yeah, ultimately you can't really be going on a on a witch hunt, on a lynch on certain players in a certain regiment doing doing on stupid a things. Foreign, yeah. Exactly. Because if so, then like, you know, you'd have millions of these Polish people, these Polish regiments who are always racist. You're gonna have problems with them and how are you gonna come around enforcing it? That's just not a viable realistic plan to do. Um Obviously, when it comes to bigger members of the community like Peter, who are really are responsible for the for their actions and are very much in the spotlight, then you know it's not like the CR can do anything about that. But in, but um, all these issues need to be sorted out regimentally, internally. Yeah, yeah it's not in terms. That's not uh, to be done on the forums or something. I mean, people are just. Uh... Uh, they grew up like they are more than 18 19 20 in the 90 second we don't have kids basically so they know what they are doing and you know nowadays sadly Glenn, on the video off. games and, <laughs> and, and w uh most of the insult and uh and the racism is for the troll people really don't believe in it in my opinion but that needs to stop because i know some people feel hurt for, for that and that really needs to stop yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I also agree with that completely. And when it comes to what we can do on the forums when racism's on the forums, I completely agree that if there is personal harassment, uh, for example, to me in in a DM and is um, and it's using racial slurs to personally attack me, um, and that's shared around. Obviously, I think FSE mods should be um, going off these type of people. And I know there has been controversy in regards to how the delegation of powers to sorting this out in regards to how the CR and the global mod team work to sort this out. But um, I, I, I will stand firm and say, look, you know, me as a CR, if people are racist and uh, commit bad things on FSE, then I'll be the first one to step up about it and inform the, glo um, the global mod team, 100%. Yes, 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 of course, my friend. The, the thing to do, right? Uh, we should both do it, basically. Yeah, I mean... This, totally uh, agree with you. Yeah, there's n I don't think there's really any, anything more to add on that. Um, right, but that's not only for the... Sorry, Price. <laughs> nah, it's all right. You, you, you've got the floor. Uh, same thing. That's not only for the 92nd and the 45th. Like, uh, we are... Um, it's fucking hot in here. Two regiments <laughs> uh, are in the spotlights again. So when we, when we do something... Uh, it is already repeated and everyone heard, uh, fears of it. But all the regiments got the same problems of racism in my Look, opinion. Sprig, Leo, all the they're both maybe a part not, of the tournament organizers uh, group. It's a stupid regiment. question to ask. And it was dealt with by I'm them. not only going to, to make sure that the 90 second uh, is going to stop the racism, but also the world community. Like, if I see something on, on FSE, I need to talk FSC. with the person that did it, even if it, that, that person is not in the 90 second. That really needs to stop, even on the forums for everyone, not only the 90 second and not only the 45th second. But again, people just like uh, talking about our two regiments because it's like, a, again, I will say the word, a dick measuring, but not at all. Don't see it like that, please. Yeah, fair enough. Let, let's uh, move. Let's sort of move on from this. Now we've been on this point for a, a, a fair while. So, uh, say so some of the comments in chat. <laughs> right. Um, I had a pretty good question I to ask came through to me on Steam. I am reading the chat as well, guys. Just FYI. Um. Yeah. So, Swissy asks. Uh, do you have? Do you, either of you have any intentions for the non-competitive part of the community? We'll start with you first, Marsman. Yeah. So um, I do. So what the forty fifth end is doing, what and I've been spearheading is um trying to develop. It's not an official tournament or an official league, but developing uh, something called NBL, which is an opponent wars battle league, which is basically a casual competitive um. Battle League that's hosted by the 45th and IV Corps and the 2LR. That's really, really solid. I highly suggest if any regiment leaders are listening to get involved with that. Um, we're, we're developing on that and, you know, well, he loves that get involved, he? Ad administration on that and building on ideas there. Well, so and what that aims to do is to build let me know if you can't um, hear me not only um, to, to, to build upon casual players entering competitive. So it's a nice casual competitive line battle. Furthermore to that, um, in the near future, I am planning um, to expand on the lower um the low tier competitive base of nw so that what that means is i'll be planning to host a tournament in regards to uh with with help of dark templar in egs under the rules of egs to um host a rookie tournament basically so that's what i'm planning 
uh, because at the moment, a lot of attention is being directed to the top of NW, to at least amongst the infantry scene, to the top to the top 10 teams. What I want to be looking at are the top 20 teams or the top 30 teams. And I'll be wanting to really, <laughs> really develop on that. Um, personally, what I've been doing is um, I've co-founded with Click and Force something called the MPP series in the 40th of Nottinghamshire to help develop players jump from the casual side into the competitive side without it being too toxic or too cancer, where we have MPP A, B and MPP 2, where um, these teams do casual casual group fights and allow casual players to have a taste of competitive because that's what we're really all about that's what i'm all about um just getting people really um really involved with competitive because you know the competitive scene is a bit die is dying a bit and i'm proud to say that i personally have brought in quite a few players into the competitive scene as of late um that's pretty much it i think um in in my opinion it doesn't so much come down to getting players into the competitive scene maybe for group fighting yes um but one thing that um myself and gi and um others who hosted it with me before uh like we had pride about the eic for example is the bracket system that we used and the way that we formatted the tournament was uh directly sort of aimed to get smaller and lower tier regiments involved in sort of not well, i wouldn't say the higher tiers of um uh, competitive nw although that is the case but you know everyone has a chance to get involved get that third place get that second place finishes at the very least because the brackets are very forgiving in that sense um so obviously what, what would you say to that um what would you say to not just individuals themselves but regiments how, how do you think we are at the moment with the current competitive regimental scene whether it comes to group fighting or 1v1s and things like that. How how do you think we could get more regiments involved at the lower side? Because most uh, sort of tenured players would know, for example, there's still a whole German community going on just sort of in the background that just don't really get involved in anything that we do. Just as just an example to my point. Is is that aimed at me or Photos? Uh, aimed at you, sorry. It was just All right, okay. What so um just what just want to say that I think the best way to get around doing this is um just to point out that in the past there's always been at two two three sometimes even four regiments at the top really competing competing for that top spot with obviously the 50th war quite ahead and then people battling out for second place um that's always been the case and you know at the very top competitive seems to have stabilized and it's always kind of the same with the same old movement regiment popping up here and there um in regards to getting less competitive regiments involved what we need to do is we need to get kickstart some EU regiments, believe it or not, because currently there are not many mid-tier EU regiments. Back in RGL, you had 45th then, 55th, 19th as EU mid-tier regiments, potentially looking at the top spot in the top five. And the 45th then has reached the top five in NW um, competitive regiments. And the 55th also just reached the top five, which is great. But currently there are no mid-tier EU regiments and we need to kickstart them up. Obviously a CR, you can't really do that. But what you can do is provide the tools and the advice into helping either old leaders come back or, you know, get new people and offer them advice and get them involved, because that's what's key. Um, regarding nations and like the fact that the German community is going well um, and that there are plenty of regiments there, that that's great. Obviously, um, I, I won't be able to, um, as CR, influence m much happening that's happening on there. But I am really proud to say that, you know, this. there is a big German community. There's MDGL <laughs> happening and Stockholm just hosted a randomized uh, tournament. So I'm really glad that there is a background of German, a uh, German community where they're hosting their own German tournaments for German speakers. I respect that. Um, so we, we, we kind of went off on a little bit of a tangent, but also not really at the same time. Um, Foten, the original question was obviously, uh, do you have any intentions for the um non-competitive part of the part of the community is there anything you think we could do to sort of aid them and first of all i'm really happy that people that are less competitive are just uh being interested by that by that election uh honestly i didn't expect that but i'm really happy to see that uh, awesome. Awesome. i will rejoin the kind of that uh we already no, passed just one three guy. <laughs> uh, casual <laughs> events where uh less competitive regiments less competitive groups can enjoy and i are already enjoying and that she's going to oh boy i'm not going to ask that question just because we touched events. upon it already yeah <laughs> okay that's pretty bad um let, just give me one more second also i'm getting a ton of messages and a lot of messages in chat let me quickly go through them. 
Uh, we had a bit of a an odd an odd question come through, and spamming it to me again on Steam, guys, is not going to make me look at it any further. It's just going to make me block you. Um, we've had one question to you, Marsman. As a newer member of the community, how does Marsman feel he can control and lead the community to new heights? How will you stamp your authority? Bit of a weird way to phrase it. Um, me personally, well, obviously as CR, you can't really do much. Um, I think what I'm. <laughs> Why are we what, even what, here? <laughs> yeah, like, what, 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 we're, what we're doing here is just it. It kind of is a bit. It's sad to say, it is a glorified position. But I'm just here to keep on doing what I'm doing, and what I'm doing is really, really great. Um, I I know it really sounds really bigoted of me. But um, everyone, every, everyone can agree that um, what I'm con contributing to this community is um, is nothing, nothing short of amazing. <laughs> that, that's a joke, by the way. But um, again, I will be hosting loads of tournaments in the near future, so definitely keep your eyes open, to keep your um, eyes peeled for that kind of stuff. But I, I won't. Other than the forty fifth, I can't really be stamping my authority around. I can't be outing specific players for doing bad things, nor can I be um, reprimanding regimental leaders for doing stupid shit on FSE or in their own regiments. Um, that is just a slippery slope to you know huge, huge problems. Um, I think uh, we just have to play a bit cool and just stay on the safe side and keep doing what I'm doing, really. And uh, one other question um, for you, Marsman. We'll, we we will get another one for you eventually, Fotin. Okay. But, um, <laughs> We've had, well, I had one question come through earlier, part of a two pronged uh, question as such. Uh, it's come from a member of the EU community that also spent quite a lot of time in an A with me as well. Um, so we've seen quite a lot of uh, this, these examples going on over there. Um, and he wants to know whether or not you, Maskman, think that you harm the NW community at all by recruiting so many players to your regiment. You know, that's, that's a really interesting question because. Um... I agree that, you know, the 45th then, the 92nd, and, you know, possibly even um, the 15th to some degree, we, we, we do, we are kind of strangling the community because, quite frankly, what we do is we soak up loads and loads of players and regiments. I don't think you saw Axiom shit on which the is, fucking uh, first into our regiment, which is great for the day. regiment, you know, like the 45th then, we hit 60 talents daily, sure sometimes even 70. That, way, but ultimately, you're taking, for example, into our grand company, you're taking a top player in a mid tier. Um, in, in their mid-tier regiment, okay, a top player in the, in the, oh, in the mid-tier regiment, and take them into the 45th Nottinghamshire, and they'd be, I don't know, a B or TC C player in our regiment, because we're, that, just, we're, just, we're just that stacked. Then that's just going to really harm that regiment in the mid-tier. That's just going to completely scupper any competitive chances. So I 100% do agree. I think um, what's best for the community right now is, believe it or not, well, either the 45th then or the 92nd to disband, so we can re- um, reassess the situation with nw and people can scatter off the different uh community-based regiments in the mid tier in the low tier or then or the nations or their um like for example the 2lr or the nr13 which are you know big german competitive regiments who quite frankly let's say rmt last year I mean, came fourth, which like... is really good and they're all german I do, actually. um mm -hmm. but now look at the 2lr and they're nowhere near the top five because lots of regiments, such as my on my regiment, forty for them, oh, and even ninety second, have been holding these German players, who quite frankly would, you know, are needed in these in these um, mid tier regiments like the two LR to you know become really strong, or even the IV Corps with the French community, lots of forty for them, lots of forty for them, forty for them French players as well. So it, it goes both ways. Yeah, um, mm. Fotin will remember this. Um, obviously, it's sad to kind of think of, even if we go back to like 2015, 2016, Fotin. Remember back in the day when we had all of those little French armies running around, right? Where you'd have like five different regiments in there, all like ten to fifteen man attendants that essentially acted more like the fifth, uh, forty fifth do, for example, as just one big regiment. And uh, it's a bit, it's a bit sad that we don't see much of that anymore. But um, like uh, what one uh one of the reasons why I thought it was quite an interesting question is for many of people here that haven't been that involved in the NA scene, you may not know this, but um the sixty three we all know the sixty three they were around for a very long time, very tenured. They achieved a lot of things, mostly on an NA on NA, but they did achieve quite a fair bit on EU as well. They're like one of the most tenured regiments in existence. You can't, you, there's nothing really else to say about that, but um. Unfortunately, it's a bit tragic what happened to them on NA because the problem was, as the NA community took that massive deep dive downwards, especially the competitive scene, 
I I want to say this was 2016, end of 2016, 2017 sort of times. Now they ended up getting like uh, boycotted by pretty much the entire comp community to the point where nobody would fight them, um, just because essentially what they wanted was for them to disband so that all those people they had in their regiment would disperse out and go to all of their regiments basically, because um, they used to bring in like 300 people to NA events a day like so and and you can imagine what like when the rest of the community as a collective is bringing in about the, that same amount uh it will you know it's it's going to bring a lot of flack to your regiment uh, what, what's your sort of your opinion on that marsman do you think that like stuff like that does harm the scene oh 100% i think um i i, no, I think i'm not really saying boycott for should be a Back good off, chat. um good size especially in our grand company to stave off on the recruiting which we have we haven't we haven't really been expressing the asking people to join since rgl in the May last will year. be in a moment um probably about what five we need or to do minutes. is in the 45th at least is to make the center company um my company much much more competitive and that's what we're doing you know we won we won the 15 to our we got clapped a2 admittedly but um we just need to start giving back to the community by um throwing in you know these mid-tier regiments for, for example the center company is relatively mid-tier um, I know the 92nd doing that under Peter's number three company. Much respect to that. But um, for us, I think it's, it's it's time to stave off on recruiting top tier players, at least in the infantry. That's why we're at the 40th then personally. We're focusing on cavalry and competitive light infantry gameplay as well, which is kind of unheard of. 1v1s with the lights. I don't know how it works, but it works. <laughs> yeah, completely fair. Let me quickly just go through and see if I find any more questions that I think are going to be pretty good to ask. Uh, let's see. So, we've had one question that came from fairly recently in the chat. We'll, we'll ask it, even though it's it's something you and me and Marston we've talked about like a fair bit, mm -hmm. uh, and you've alluded to the fact that you know it doesn't do a lot um, a few times throughout the throughout the stream. Uh, what are both candidates' stance on what they believe their duties as the CR actually are to the community? And uh, I'm going to start off with you, Photon, because you've been quiet for a little while now. And um, th their second point to that was not only what do you believe your duties are, and what is your what what is your number one priority to the community itself, Photon? Your the floor is yours. Well, uh, sorry, man. I was lagging. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> it's just the, the the start of the question. I was lagging. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I've, to be honest, I've got to scroll back up and find it. Uh, so what is your stance on what you believe your duties are as the CR, the community rep? Oh, okay. And what is your biggest idea to implement to the community? Well, my, my most important duties is to be, for, for, first of all, uh, the link between the community and the moderator. Uh, as a CR, you are the person uh, that will be uh, between the arguments, between those, the, those moderators and the community you also need to be the person uh that uh passes the message for example if the community has something to say to the moderators you are that person that passes the message towards the moderators and uh it is going also in the other way if the moderators are some, have something to say uh it, it is passing by me also secondly uh to to make sure that fsc is not a jungle by that i mean uh debatable no insults uh no racism again we are going back on that point uh yeah to to make it clear to 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 make it to, to make sure that the rules are followed uh that is for me the most important things as a cr but uh on my way as i am a competitive player originally uh my main um how can i say that the main things that I will do for the community are going to be uh, tournament stuff. So yeah, that's all I have to say right now. Fair enough. Just having another look for. Is there anything? Oh yeah, right. We need to go to you, Marston. Sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, just to just to touch upon those points. Um, I know I've been on the scene, you know, for a relatively short time. Uh, similar to Jack Grealish, you could say, uh, from Aston Villa. But um, <laughs> shit joke aside. Um, I 100% agree I with really I should be the uh, first person um, to be going to the global mod as I connect the community and with the global moderation team. Um, that's that's ideally me, and I should be the first one to.
call out racism on FSE if there any is if there is any or bad behavior in FSE and in regards to breaking of the rules and stuff. Um, I have personally, uh, especially with this JoJo 13 incident, I personally have been um, embroiled in lots of um, lo lots of controversy in regards to the FSE, where I, my account was quite frankly hacked, and I had to deal with John with Price, the uh, community rep, and also with Harishi and mm -hmm. other other mods. So I'm very familiar in regards to that. And I do know um, the FSE gu guidelines. No, oh, yeah. um, we also have to remember that FSE is made uh, to 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 permit the players to meet and to organize things and to talk together. Uh, that's way more. That's way. That, that's that's easier to talk on FSE than on the Steam chats, for example. If you if you wanna give a message to the community, you do it on FSE. So FSE was made. To talk together, so it's a forum. We the need to, to respect the rules and prediction. We need to be open-minded of it on it. You know, <laughs> uh, that's really important. That's not that's not a, a jungle, as I said, and you can't fight on it. That's that's against the rules, and that's not made for that. Fair enough. We've had a question come in from a member of your regiment, Votin. Uh, I won't say who it is. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep the names off for the moment. Um, he asks, obviously we know you've spent a lot of time in the community and everything else, um, but his question to you was, um, do you have, do you think you have enough experience in a role of administration and command? Votin, that was you. Oh, uh, for, for me? Yeah, that was for you. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought it was for my son. Uh... <laughs> If I have, well, he uh, he leads a reg. We don't need to ask him that question. <laughs> if I have enough uh, experience on leading, you, you mean? Yeah, like just administration of regiments, okay. communities, and stuff like that in general. I think is what he was trying to get. Uh, at. For sure, I'm not really uh, experienced on that, and yes, yeah, so that's not a problem for me. Uh, that's like my English. I uh, I improved a lot in English uh, because of uh, FSE and talking with each other. So. I will also improve a lot by administrating things, and I'm sure that I can do it, and I will do it as well. And uh, to resolve the problems on FSC, etc., uh, no, I can learn it. I will learn it. I think uh, I am. I'm already good for it, even if I don't show it at the moment because that's not what I'm doing. But yes, uh, I am. I am experienced enough, in my opinion. I will be experienced enough when I will be working on it, I know. Thanks, cool. Okay, so we have... Right, so we've also had a question from the same person coming for you, Marsman. I can see you're muted at the moment, so wake your ass up. Kevin sorry, I thought I was sorry, I thought I was unmuted, apologies. <laughs> so we've had a question come through that asks uh, whether or not you running a regiment slash events and admin tourneys and matchmaking and everything else that you do fair bit fair enough um will you be able to juggle that and your community rep work whilst doing your university whilst being at uni um uh, of course i think i think um i'm not sure if you guys know my daily schedule but it's always an hour of fse before bed and an hour of fse as soon as you wake up uh so uh, i'm always i'm always involved and fse throughout the day so again it will just be another minor extra thing that i will be um amongst the great many things i'm doing other than that so i mean juggling that is uh should be no should be no no issues fair enough nothing else to really uh add to that so well we'll give another we'll give it another five minutes and then we're gonna sure. call it and then we'll do the poll and everything. Someone's one of the mods started a prediction for some odd reason. Um so we've got to let that time out as well. Um but yeah, go through a couple more chat questions. You know, I'm only gonna I'm gonna only gonna ask the ones that are, you know, somewhat not retarded. So we'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll we'll move on from there and we'll uh switch down the stream. Switch down, switch off the stream. Sweet, over a hundred people, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I didn't expect that, honestly. I did, to be honest. <laughs> <There's> oh, <okay. laughs> I think, I think uh, uh, Marsman probably expected that many as well. Yeah, I did as well. I mean, I, think, I saw the people uh, gathering. Uh, honestly, yes. I didn't expect more than 30 people or something, but when I see 100, I'm like, wow, how is that possible? There you go. Right, so let's have a 
Ledger says she, you should sort out your beard line. Well, Ledger can fuck off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you iron out your shirt? Like I pulled it out like five minutes ago. Leave me alone. Or five minutes before the start of the stream. It was a last minute meme, okay? Let's see, I'm wondering. We're not seeing. Any good questions, I think. Could I just, while we're looking for questions, I just want to clear up something in the chat. So obviously yeah, Peter did write something on the lines of why did, if the if Marsman cares so much about military regiments, why did he allow the 45th then to um, get a merge with the 10th? Quite frankly, just to clear it up, um, Mitchell did ask the 45th then for a merge and it was very much a watered down merge. Um, before it was just the 10th and the 45th then Gren company doing competitive events. Now it's a 45th then center company and the 45th then Gren company doing competitive events. So in by no means have I personally taken away um, from the mid-tier regiments um, because you really could count the 45th and Centre Company as a mid-tier regiment in and of its own right purely because we play competitive as well. Um, in fact, I think that merge helped bring in more players into the competitive scene because you know not all of them joined the Centre Company, the infantry. Some of them joined the Cav, some of them joined the Lights. So, question for you so um, and that. both companies do competitive. Like, in fact, all of our companies do competitive in the 45th. Then just want to clear that one up. Fair enough. Um, so we have had a question, um, and I think it's a pretty good one, to be honest. Uh, obviously, the CR role uh, came about God, a couple, what was it, a couple of years ago now, um, and we've seen quite a lot of people come through, such as the legendary Fluffy. No one can deny he had an absolutely fantastic uh, run as CR. But one of the questions from chat is, why, why did you guys decide to go for CR now and not a few months ago, a year ago, for example? And we'll, we'll start with you again, Foten. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I already gave, gave the, the explanation of it before in the debate. Uh, first of all, I was focused on the competitive side, so FSG was not my first, uh, my first, uh, the first thing I was thinking about. I was using it uh, to see the tournaments, to see the list, etc. Uh, but I was not, uh, I was really not, uh, not uh, giving uh, a fuck uh, to the, um, to the things, uh, to the, to the insults, to the racism, etc. To to the tournament organization as well. And uh, yes, that's the main reason. And the second reason is also my English. Uh, honestly, I didn't expect that I could get. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really good in English at the moment, but I. I didn't expect to be as good as that in English. Uh, so I totally didn't believe in myself about that. But no, I know that uh, I can be understood and I can understand people uh, on FSE. So that's not a problem for me. Yeah, that's fair enough. And uh, that same person's also put a follow up as well. Uh, photo in. If you haven't been that involved in FSC previously, um, and well, and rarely engaged in it, um, why now? What, what what's compelled you this much to jump in at a time like this? Well, uh, I, uh, well, I had objectives concerning uh, competitive side. Uh, I did five years of it. You didn't it, say my no, CR term really chat with free. Uh, mm. Even we're, if we're I high tried and clear to now. being good. Everyone's forgotten what I, I did. I don't get the motivation. And uh, so I, I try, I love NW, so I want to, to, to keep playing on it. And I realized that the competitive side was not for me anymore. Uh, being a, co a competitive player, I mean, but I still want to be a competitive leader. Uh, but being a competitive leader, uh, <laughs> being a competitive player is not for me anymore. So I decided uh, to stay on NW on another way, which is on FSE and on the organization of new things. Uh, Ricky and Co is really with the small important in my life. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just gonna so get yeah, I didn't want to leave it. So I just found something else to do. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. And uh, Marston, so back onto the sort of original question for you now. Um, why, why now and why not uh, sign up for CR in the past? Quite frankly, in the past, um, the only time I actually got to know what a CR was, was um, when you and Unicorn were having a runoff. And the reason why I didn't run there was because, quite frankly, I was busy a lot with school, but also I was, at the time, planning this Mask and Mails 5v5 series. I was also um, helping Smiley with his um, EIS, 
um, series when Worsley pulled out, all of a sudden I had to be called in and in the space of two weeks I had to do a lot of administrative work to you know fill that gap. So at that time, I just didn't have the time to do that. I didn't have the time to run a campaign and we were also creating a new company in the 45th then. So that was very much where my attention was. Now, however, onto more clearer, calmer waters, um, I can positively say for the rest of my tenure, I will have nothing that will distract me from this game. Uh, for my personal life. So, um, as I said, tournaments will be coming down the track. An EGS rookie tournament will be coming down the track and much, much more. But that's the main reason why I couldn't run last time. Just I didn't have the time. Okay. And then, obviously, the obvious question here is, uh, like, well, to be honest, we've already asked that question, so I don't know why I'd ask it again. I was about to say, um, <laughs> are you sure you're going to have the time now? But you already answered that question, didn't you? So I won't ask that again. Uh, are you wearing pants? Yes, I am wearing pants. Um... Let's have a. No, I'm not asking that question. Remember, we're asking questions between the two of these. Well, to, between these two, not about the regiments per se, unless it's like how the regiments are perceived, for example. It just doesn't really. It's just not really relevant. Right, the poll is going to be up for another. Ooh. I think it's two minutes and then like we'll see who we'll see who wins the debate basically in the eyes of twitch chat and then don't forget everyone to actually go and vote afterwards on the thread which i haven't done either of course in the meantime while the poll's still going i will keep reading chat for more questions remember only ones that have more than 50 iq I've seen a lot of spam with the same question about the smaller competitive community and the yeah. smaller regiments. But I mean, we've we've touched upon this already, so I'm I'm not going to ask the same question again. Um, remember, everything will go to YouTube, and it will have be timestamped, so you can go through and um, select any specific questions that you want to actually watch, guys. So there's no point in us asking the same ones over and over again. Do I get more votes if I beat uh, Massman in the first to seven? <laughs> I mean, if if the chat wants to see it, if you want to load up NW, go to EU Jewel and do a first seven right now. I'm down. I'd rather shit in my hands and clap than play on EU Jewel. Oh, man, I used to... You just remind my old boss used to say that. I'd rather shit in my hands than clap. <laughs> exactly, so... Yeah, I, I do tend to say it quite a lot. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is the chat wants a moderated first to seven, Massman. <laughs> well, we're just gonna oh, be fucking the, abused. Must run. I'm not sure that I win, so <laughs> not sure that you'll win. Well, yeah, as long as you are, it's fine. I'm, I'll I'll play like unicorn or Stockholm, and oh, but they're uh, saying can, you're scared now. We can be on for eight. Oh. We can, we can be on mate. I've, I think you've got mate, no choice now. Quite frankly, I play NW every day till about three a.m. So um, I have all the time in the world. Question oh, well, is the question was, do you want? <laughs> the question was, do you want a first to seven? I'll have uh, a first to seven. If, if if the people want it, the people want it. You know, not not if you uh, if not if you have no life. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll, I'll ask you all the way, man. Don't worry. <laughs> you down for that voting? Yeah. Of course. Okay, then let's load up EU Jewel. Let's go have ourselves right, a Jewel. Right, <laughs> right. no, let's do a first we'll, to we'll do a let's prediction do in chat as well. First do it to five, first five, first on five. stream as well. You want to do a first to five? Alright. Yeah, I'm down for a we can do a first of five if you want. Well I'll just get I'll just get um I'll just call Another... up Xtaz or like Rune to uh, play for me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they know my face on um in game. I'll get Lone Doge, Lone Doge. I know you're I know you're listening to the stream, get involved. <laughs> you know it, you know it, bro. Right, boys, I'm gonna say this now, yeah. If you if you go to Eagle, because there will be some of you on there, we all know the sort of reprobates you all are. Yeah. Everyone watching um, Warband right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, just let them have the fight. We'll, we'll have a prediction in chat. Win some channel points that will never be used. Let's go. Why not? All right, well... Uh, I'm just loading up the game now, and then we'll sort it out. Ten people need you. Jewel. Let's have a look. <laughs> like, they're, they're right now. Everyone's, everyone's popping on. Love to see it. I absolutely love to see it. Unfortunately, we're going to have to use that same quote again. Mossman's getting everyone involved. As it should be, my G. As it should be. 
Fucking ain't that stupid wine you guys have. Better than Vidand, am I right? I mean, yeah, but Vidand's a classic. Can't argue with a good Vidand. Where are you, Mask? Wait, let's go. Let's go on. Uh, oh wait, on, on one of our private server, man. Okay. Yeah, do you think it's, it might yeah. be best to go? Forty fifth and official. Let's go. Forty fifth. But don't say, don't say the best password. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't say the password. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say the password. We can. Uh, I, I can say the password. We'll just. Uh, yeah, right. Pass is a pass is GF. No, people can come and watch. It's just you'll they'll be spec immediately. Okay. Cool. I think we're gonna need some forty fifth. Okay, and, uh, mods in there, I guess. Yeah, I thought you could admin, just hop on and just swap people's back. Alright, come on. Everyone's back, come on. Let's stop fucking No, man. but people won't go spec, man. People I know, Paul, cool. we don't see the game. Je just just change, change the password and people won't go No, spec. no, it's fine. I think people can watch. Um, it's just if people just go spec immediately, that should be fine. All right, first All right. Them. Don't if you if you join it now, you just get tan banned. By the way. Okay. Good luck, man. Best of luck. Oh, oh, hold up a second. First to five, it is. Yeah, first to five. All right, let's go. Honestly, I'm not sure to win. Uh, we missed the first round, unfortunately. Ah, oh, it's alright, don't worry. 50 people in spec, let's go! <laughs> oh my god. We have Marsman on UK, Foten on France, eh? Oh, nice, really, really nice gun. You didn't expect that. 50 T people in spec, let's go! Prediction started in chat, guys. Not missing that much. Oh, my webcam's dead, is it? I'll fix the webcam in a minute. It'll freeze the uh, game if I tab out. Oh, oh my god, god. fucking god. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I play like such a fucking autist. Hits with the color commentary. Alright, boys, let's see what's going on here. Maskman trying to range oh. Photon, but Photon absolutely destroys Imagine him. Imagine holding your stab in 2021. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, man. What did you expect? 2-2 two, two oh, between Maskman and Photon. No one could have seen this one way. coming. Photon with the first stab. Maskman trying too hard to faint right I now. Shit, that's it. That's him the round. Oh, Tiberius is watching as well. Yanni as well. Let's go. Oh, nice. Oh. Fighting, forgetting that there is no, a you understand quick button. Why I don't want to keep be, being a competitive player. <laughs> Boy, I'm, I'm pretty dog shit, man. Zero MR, come on. But I am as well, so. Oh. <laughs> oh. Marsman releasing his block too early. Someone spawned in. Wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, slay in, slay in. Cheers, thank you. Nice, nice. chamber. GG, GG. Well played. Be a 5 3 to Photown, there we go. You can have. <laughs> <laughs> well played. That was, uh, was well, joyful. You, you played well, so. Oh, no, come on. Uh, there you go. Not yeah. bad, boys. Not bad. You played very well. Well done. GG. You gave the people what they wanted. Exactly. And that's what CR <laughs> should do. We. we... We bow and bend our, we bend over backwards for the people. <laughs> oh pickups, people call it pickups. Let's go, pickups. <laughs> All right, is that is that it? That is it. So I've just finished Sweet. the prediction and everything in the chat. Uh, goes without saying, thank you for the hundred and. 15 people, I think, was the peak that mm. were watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. I think, uh, you know, we, we, the boys had a good time of it, didn't you?
Yeah, yeah, it was very enjoyable. Thank you very much for giving uh, us the opportunity. Same, same for me. Same for me. I can't wait to go on FSE afterwards and just see the uh, see the baits. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I, I know no. Veggie's already hot on his heels. I actually had to quench my thirst for FSE and checked halfway through the um, debate, to be honest. Well, so, be, uh, for me, I was really waiting that because uh, that's my first debate in English, and that's really interesting to talk in English, so I can improve really, really good. So, so yeah, I was really couldn't wait for that. Thanks, Tib. Sweet. Well, th thank you very much for uh, letting me host this, boys. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I could have prepared more questions beforehand, but where's the fun in that? Uh, wing it, just like you wing through life, and look where it ends up, a fat man in a bedroom. So there you go. Alrighty. Well, that's it, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in. That's the end of the stream for today. There will be a stream tomorrow if anyone gives a shit. Alright, sweet. I'll catch you all on the next one. See you later. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Cheers.